Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World. Today we are going to discuss the following topics. Let us start with double displacement reaction. It is a reaction in which two compounds react to form two other compounds by mutual exchange of atoms or group of atoms. It's called double displacement or double decomposition or partner exchange reaction. It is represented as AB is reacting with CD and it is producing AD and BC. Let us discuss some examples of double decomposition reaction. Our first example is when an aqueous solution of silver nitrate is treated with an aqueous solution of sodium chloride. So a white precipitate is formed. Now the question which comes in our mind is that what is a precipitate? In most double decomposition reactions, the reaction of two ionic compounds leads to the formation of an insoluble product. It's called precipitate. A precipitate is an insoluble product formed during the reaction of two ionic compounds in aqueous solution. And in reactions in which one of the products of the reactions get precipitated, it's called precipitation reaction. The formation of a precipitate during a reaction in a solution is indicated by a downward arrow like this or by simply writing small s in bracket. Now writing the chemical equation. NaCl which is aqueous reacting with AgNO3 and it is producing AgCl. This is a white precipitate so we can write small s after this and NaNO3. So NaNO3 is formed like this NaNO3 and AgCl is the white precipitate. So let us take another example. When an aqueous solution of barium chloride is treated with dilute sulfuric acid a white precipitate is formed which is of barium sulfate. A white precipitate form of barium sulfate. So we can write the chemical equation as BaCl2 in aqueous form reacts with H2SO4 which is also in aqueous form and it will produce BaSO4 that is barium sulfate which is a white precipitate so we will write it like this small s in brackets plus twice HCl it is aqueous form. So how barium sulfate is formed? B A from here and SO4 from H2SO4. So barium sulfate is formed which is a white precipitate and then HCl will be formed from here. H2 and Cl2 HCl is formed. Now we will discuss oxidation reduction reaction. Oxidation reduction reactions can be described in terms of gain or loss of oxygen or hydrogen. Now 
What is oxidation? Oxidation is a process which involves addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen. Addition of oxygen. Elements burn in the presence of oxygen and combine with oxygen to form oxides of elements. Examples are burning of sulfur and burning of carbon. Let us discuss these examples. First, burning of carbon. Carbon burns in the presence of oxygen to form CO2 gas. So, this is an oxidation reaction since oxygen is added to carbon. A second example is burning of sulfur. Sulfur burns in the presence of oxygen to form sulfur dioxide gas. So, oxygen is also added here. So, this is an oxidation reaction. Now, removal of hydrogen. Removal of hydrogen from compounds containing hydrogen leads to the oxidation of the compound. Examples are oxidation of hydrogen sulfide by bromine. Let us discuss this example in detail. Oxidation of hydrogen sulfide by bromine. Bromine reacts with hydrogen sulfide to form hydrogen bromide and sulfur. We can write the chemical equation like this H2S that is hydrogen sulfide in aqueous form reacts with bromine which is also in aqueous form and it will produce twice HBr plus sulfur. It is in aqueous form. In this reaction, hydrogen is removed from hydrogen sulfide. This hydrogen is removed from hydrogen sulfide. So, this is an oxidation reaction. Since removal of hydrogen is taking place in this reaction. Now, let us discuss about reduction. What is reduction? Reduction is a process which involves removal of oxygen or addition of hydrogen. Metals are usually prepared by removal of oxygen from metal oxides. Let us discuss some examples of reduction. Reduction of copper oxide with hydrogen and reduction of iron oxide with carbon monoxide. Let us discuss these chemical reactions. First, we will discuss reduction of copper oxide with hydrogen. Copper oxide plus hydrogen in gaseous form, copper oxide in solid form. When reduction occurs, it will form copper and H2O in gaseous form. So when hydrogen gas is passed over heated copper oxide, it gets reduced to metallic copper. This is metallic copper. And since this reaction, oxygen is removed from copper oxide. This oxygen is removed. So this is a reduction reaction. Let us discuss another example. Reduction of iron oxide with carbon monoxide. So when carbon monoxide is passed over heated iron oxide, we will write the chemical reaction Fe2O3. Fe2O3, it reacts with 
carbon monoxide which is in gaseous form and it will produce twice Fe plus thrice CO2 gaseous form and liquid form. So it gets reduced to metallic iron. Iron oxide is reduced to metallic iron. We can see that removal of oxygen is taking place. There is no oxygen with iron. So this is a reduction reaction. Removal of oxygen from Fe2O3 is taking place. Oxygen is removed from iron oxide. So this is a reduction reaction. Now we will discuss about oxidizing and reducing agents. What is a oxidizing agent? A substance which causes addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen from other substances is called oxidizing agent. Examples of oxidizing agents are oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, hydrogen peroxide, nitric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid and potassium chlorate. Let us understand these terms with the help of an example. Suppose carbon is reacting with oxygen in gaseous form, carbon in solid form and it will produce CO2 gas. So carbon is oxidized to CO2 and oxygen here is acting as an oxidizing agent. Take another example. Hydrogen sulfide that is H2S in aqueous form is reacting with chlorine gas and it will produce twice HCl in aqueous form plus sulfur in solid form. So hydrogen sulfide is oxidized to sulfur. We can see that hydrogen sulfide is oxidized to sulfur. So in this reaction chlorine is the oxidizing agent. Now reducing agents. A substance which causes addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen from other substances is called reducing agent. Examples of reducing agents are hydrogen, carbon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, mercury, hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide. Let us discuss about reducing agent with the help of an example. Magnesium oxide that is MgO is reacting with carbon in solid form. When it is heated it will form magnesium and carbon monoxide in gaseous form. So magnesium oxide is reduced to magnesium and carbon is the reducing agent. Carbon here is acting as a reducing agent. Since carbon is able to remove oxygen from magnesium oxide. So carbon is the reducing agent. Let us take another example in which chlorine gas, Cl2 gas is reacting with hydrogen sulfide which is in aqueous form and it will form twice HCl aqueous form plus sulfur in solid form. In this reaction Chlorine is reduced to hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid is the reducing agent. 
here H2S is the reducing agent. Why H2S is the reducing agent? Because it is able to add hydrogen to chlorine. Now we will discuss the relationship between oxidation and reduction. Take a reaction. Chlorine in gaseous form reacts with H2S in aqueous form. It will give twice HCl in aqueous form and sulfur in solid form. In this reaction, chlorine is reduced, chlorine reduced to HCl and hydrogen sulfide H2S is oxidized to sulfur. So in this reaction, oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously. The oxidation or reduction reaction cannot occur alone. Hence, oxidation and reduction are complementary to each other. It is clear with the help of this example. A reaction in which oxidation and reduction take place simultaneously is called oxidation-reduction or redox reaction. We can take another example also that in redox reaction the oxidizing agent is reduced and the reducing agent is oxidized. The oxidation and reduction are mutually dependent or we can say they are reciprocal to each other. Let's take example copper oxide COO reacts with hydrogen it will give copper and H2O gas so we can see that copper oxide is reduced to copper in this reaction it is reduced to copper and hydrogen is oxidized to water. So what happens that copper oxide is reduced to copper so it's a reduction and hydrogen is oxidized to water so this is oxidation. Hence we can say that oxidation and reduction are mutually dependent or reciprocal to each other. Now we will discuss difference between oxidation and reduction. In oxidation, it is a chemical reaction which involves addition of oxygen or any other electronegative atom or ion to a substance and it involves removal of hydrogen or any other electropositive atom or ion from a substance. Now in reduction it is a chemical reaction which involves removal of oxygen or any other electronegative atom or ion from a substance and it involves addition of hydrogen or any other electropositive atom or ion to a substance. So in a nutshell we can say that in oxidation addition of oxygen and removal of hydrogen takes place while in reduction removal of oxygen and addition of hydrogen takes place. Thank you for watching Adupedia wall videos.